there are two methods in dictionary class that we should always avoid but i still see so many codes where these two methods are used frequently first i am going to show the two methods which we should avoid and why we should avoid those and then i am going to show what is the appropriate alternative for those two now to demonstrate this problem i have a class called user cache and this class is responsible for caching user objects in a dictionary inside user cache class i have a private read only i dictionary underscore users which is an instance of a dictionary object and the key for this dictionary is a string and the value is user and the user class is nothing but defined here it has multiple properties but for the purpose of this demonstration i am going to just use the name property the user cache class has two methods add user and get user the add user method will take the name of the user as first parameter which is a type of string and the user object as the second parameter and inside this method all i am doing is i am calling the add method of the dictionary class to add the user object into the dictionary as a value and the name of the user as the key to the dictionary and then it has a get user method and the get user method takes the name of the user as a parameter and it returns the user object from the dictionary using the indexer method of the dictionary class the indexer takes the key of the dictionary as a input parameter which is the name of the user in this case as you might have already guessed these are the two methods we should avoid and the two methods are nothing but the add and the get indexer now let's find out why next in the program class what i have done is i have created an object of the user cache here and then what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to add user into the user cache calling the add user method and both the time i am using the same key user1 as well as the same object and then finally i am calling user cache dot get user and passing a name which i have not added yet and this is what is going to demonstrate what is the problem with these two methods now let me run this application and when i run this application what is going to happen is the first time the add user call is going to be successful but the second time the add user call is going to fail and once the add user call fails it is going to throw an exception and as you can see the exception says an item with the same key has already been added key user1 and the reason for that is we are trying to add the same key twice now you would say that this is expected because we are trying to add the same key twice and you are right it is expected but i would expect an elegant output rather than throwing an exception because throwing an exception and handling an exception is always expensive let me comment this code out so that at least this part of the code works and now let's run the program and this time the get user is going to throw an error because we are trying to access a key which does not exist so if i run this application and as expected we are getting an error which is key not found exception the given key user 11 was not present in the dictionary now for this one also you might say well this is expected and yes that is also true it is expected but this code is going to cause an unwanted error in a large application and that needs to be handled gracefully so let's find out how we can fix this problem for fixing this problem there are two ways to fix it one way is we can write some extra code to fix it which lot of you would have done as a best practice in some cases and the other way of doing is using the out of the box methods so so first let's try out the method where we can write some extra code to prevent this and then we are going to try out the out of the box implementation so for that 
what I can do is inside the add user method, I'm going to check if the key already exists. And if it do not exist, then only I'm going to add it. So for that, I can do not underscore users dot contains key. So if it does not contain key, then only add. And similarly, for the indexer call, we can do something similar here. And here we can say if the key exists. So we can say if underscore user dot contains key. And we can check the name. So if the name exists as a key in the users, then return users with name. Otherwise, just return null. But since we are let me fix this. Since we are returning null here, it's better to make this nullable so that it is part of the contract and whoever is calling these, they would know that there is a possibility of user being null. Now let me update this also interface so that I don't see this complaint. Okay, so now if I run this application as is, let me uncomment this. And if I run this application at this point in time, I should not see any error. So, but I let me just add the user dot name. I am using this question mark because user is going to be null and it is a nullable return. So I am just writing safe program. Now let me run this application. And this time when I run, the application is going to come up since it is null, so it just printed empty but the, the code did not break. Now let us go and change this implementation to use an out of the box implementation. So for out of the box implementation, the ad has a try add variation and the try add, what it does is it returns a Boolean. If the ad was successful, it will return the Boolean value as true. Otherwise it is at false. So we can just get the value here. I'm not going to use the value, but this is just to demonstrate what is the response. And I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And here, instead of using the content key here, what we can do is, instead of using the indexer method, I'll replace this with try get value. So try get value is going to return true if the value exists, otherwise it is going to return false. So what we can do is we can say underscore user dot try get value. And if try get value, the key is name. And for the value, we can say out user user. And if this is equal to true, then user else null. So now if the try get value returns true, then we are going to return the user. Otherwise we are returning null. So now we are just using out of the box try get value for the indexer and try add for the add. Now let's run the program. And here we can see we get a try add. This is the first call and response here is true because the value did not exist yet. So we just added user for the first time. I'm going to do an F5. Next time when we run, this time the response is false because user already had the value. And now if I just do an F5 and I look into the output result here, just as before we got null because the key did not exist yet. Now let's change the code here a little bit. Just pass the key which exists. Let me get rid of this breakpoint. And this time when we run, we should get the appropriate name which is user one from the response. So this is all I wanted to cover for today's video. Just to show two methods which we should try avoiding from dictionary as it can cause error if we do not handle the methods appropriately. 
And given that we have something like try add and try get value, this is much more simpler to use the out of box implementation rather than trying to check if the key exists or not. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.